<clears throat> can you use the word use the word vindication? Thinking back to Kitten's Joy's run in the Arlington Million when he finished second, can you talk about the vindication that you got here today? Well, that was uh, Kitten's Joy's last race. He uh, hurt his knee and had to be retired. So uh, to have his son come back today and do what he uh, didn't do on that particular day is very gratifying. And the fact that we're standing on our farm and he's turned out to be such a wonderful stallion. I mean, this is three Kittens Joy that's won here today, plus we won a grade one sword dancer over in at Saratoga with the Kittens Joy. And today's not over, we got another one running here in a stake race. Plus we have an entry two emotional kitten and Kittens Dumplings running in a grade one Delmar. So uh, Delmar Oaks out at uh, Delmar. And, uh, that, that one would be my second if we could pull that off because my very first grade one win and the very first grade one win that Shane Sellers, uh, the jockey I had, was on Bill Out Becky. And it's kind of ironic that my granddaughter, Bill Out Be uh, Becky, is uh, standing here today. The little girl running up cheering the real solution on is my great granddaughter, Ella. So uh, it's nice to have the family back today uh, celebrating another grade one win uh, since she had the first one with uh, Bill Out Becky. Very nice. You mentioned, you mentioned three great one wins on the afternoon. Where does this rank in the many incredible days that you've had owning racehorses? Well, I've never had three great ones before. Uh, we have a tradition on our farm. Uh, we got a big sign we put up on all the barns of have a grade one winner. So now I've got to paint a grade one winner for a big blue kitten and one for Admiral Kitten and one for Real Solution. <laughs> so I'm going to end up building some more barns these kittens keep on running. <laughs> And what can you tell us specifically about Real Solution and the way that this colt has come around this year and, and especially since the Manhattan? Well, uh, the, the horse goes back to a, a gentleman named uh, Gianluca Bianconi from Italy. Uh, we sent three horses over there. Uh, I had a couple doctors down in the Gulf Stream that helped me out with my wife on a situation I had with her medical problem. So I was gratitude they wanted me to send three horses over to Italy. So I said, look, I'll send three over. So he came to the farm and picked out three, and one of them was Real Solution. So uh, the horse went undefeated his first three starts and was the two to five favorite to win the Italian Derby. So they invited me over. I flew over my first trip to Rome. I think Rome was the greatest place I've probably ever visited, all the history and everything over there. I really enjoyed the trip. Uh, but unfortunately, he uh, developed a lung infection. Didn't know he had it right at the time that he was running, but uh, went off two to five and finished up the track. So we're really disappointed, but then we got him back and scoped him, had a lot of, it's bad. So Chad spent all this time getting him brought back, and uh, the reason I thought he's such an overlay today, the horse that Shug McGahee had that beat him last time in Manhattan and got hurt, uh, he would have probably been even money here today. So my horse I had, had wrenched an ankle about, I'd say, four or five weeks before that, and Chad said he needed one more workout for the Manhattan, didn't get it, we ran anyway, so a little short that day. So today had no excuses whatsoever. He's, lined up perfect so I, I thought he was real real value at seven to one so I got down. Hope everybody else did too. <laughs>